Uh, we've got on all the Oasis class ships. We've been on two of the ships twice. We're talking about Odyssey for next year. Is there much to do on Odyssey as... Is there as much to do on Odyssey as the Oasis class ships? Well, uh, that, that's a great question, Susan. And thank you for your super chat. I do appreciate it. Number one, I mean, the Oasis class by definition is not is going to offer more than, than Odyssey. So I have to... I'm not going to sit here and pretend they're equals in that regard. There's just more space on Oasis class ships. Thus, they can fit more in there, right? However, I really do believe Royal Caribbean is giving the Oasis class a run for its money with Odyssey. Odyssey has like every single little trick and and bit of informational tweak that they figured out along the way. It is a very compelling option. I don't think you're going to be bored on board. No, no pun intended. Uh, while you're on uh, the Odyssey, it's actually fantastic. And I think you'll like it quite a bit. Uh, SH, what is the tastiest sandwich on an Oasis class ship? Arguable, but I'm going to say the Kemmelwick sandwich at Park Cafe is finger licking good to borrow a phrase from a fast food chain that has nothing to do with roast beef sandwiches. Uh, it is that good. Uh, Tyler wants to know, what is my favorite class of ship and why? You know, I, there, Tyler, I've always said this. I always feel that there's the Oasis class and there's everything else. Um, and I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that I really do love the Oasis class ships. I am a big ship kind of guy, just like Rich Triplett. Uh, and so I'm going with the Oasis class, quite frankly. Is Chef's Table and Mariner of the Seas good? If you're an adventurous eater and you like wine, yes, it is worth it. It's, it's a, it is a uh, food extravaganza, and it's a long marathon of eating, but it is really fun, actually. A very, really unique uh, opportunity. You don't get to do anything uh, else like that. I've been trying to eat healthier lately. That's awesome. Good for you. What are healthy food options on Royal Caribbean like? Well, there's a lot of variety, actually. It's more of a question, I think, super saver of your self-control. Um, and a lot of the menus, especially the main dining room menu, they have little icons to indicate, you know, healthier options for you. Certainly, you can uh, talk to the head waiter about getting certain things made a little more customized to your liking. That would be an option for you as well. Um, but uh, I don't know what ship you're on, quite frankly, super saver. But the other great place for if you're trying to eat healthy would be, in my opinion, the Solarium Bistro. They have a lot of, like, inherently... Uh, Really, really good food that is good for you as well. Cruising on Harmony in May 22. Well, let me book excursions in Labadee or Falmouth. Another change in ports on the Terry Nash. I expect that to continue. Possibly. I mean, May 22 is really far away. So number one, you're just too far away to even, honestly, I wouldn't even look at excursions until you get to at least January at the earliest. Um, and they may add them later on. So yes, you're right that they have been removing Labadee and Falmouth from itineraries. I know that for a fact um, Jamaica is reopening. Uh, I believe in November will be the first sailing back there. I think Carnival is starting there first. But regardless, I think that'll change. But you're, is, is, this is a red herring is what I'm trying to tell you. Um, it's actually more likely you're just too far out to see excursions, quite frankly. Any tips for Independence of the Seas? Going in June, it's my cousin's first cruise. And I have been in years. Thanks for all your tips. You're very welcome. Um, I'll, uh, there's so many tips I could give you. I mean, obviously, you may know some of these. Do the online check and do everything you can in the app before the cruise take the photo i know it's weird take the photo fill out the uh scan your passports do every single thing why because then when you get to the terminal it is so much faster when you get there alex you're gonna be so excited for your cruise you're gonna be like holy moly i'm ready to get on board that ship i hear josh carruthers in the pub doing shots while we wait i can't wait to get up there and meet him and my cousin of course uh the last thing you want to do is be sitting there filling out paperwork do everything you can in the app, number one. Number two, um, uh, um, 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 ooh, sail away. Great spot for sail away. It'll be warm in June, but hey, you're on a cruise ship. You're on vacation, YOLO. Uh, go to the helipad on the front of the ship. You just go out to the promenade deck, which is on deck five on Independence of the Seas. Walk all the way forward. It's a great vantage point for sail away. They have the sky pad on Independence of the Seas. Check that out as well. And uh, they also have a fabulous playmakers on board. And did you know there's a Broadway show on board? Yeah, Grease, the Broadway musical. Grease is the word. Um, and uh, you can see it on board the uh, lovely um, Independence of the Seas. What's something to do to celebrate that's unique other than a dining experience for an anniversary? It's on Harmony. A couple things come to mind. The spa. You can do a couple's massage or something like that. You can pick out or do a private tour on one of the ports you're visiting. Uh, that might be a cool option for you to do as well. Uh, I'm trying to think of something like, I mean, truly splurge on your cabin. That. It's also something that may be worthwhile to do. Maybe surprise, unless they're watching this. Oops, I just ruined it. But, uh, you know, maybe upgrade your room uh, and don't tell them. And then they show up, be like, oh, yeah, we only got, you remember, 
you know that uh inside room we have well what are you gonna do you know maybe someday we'll be able to afford it. and then bam uh joe wants to know can you upgrade your room on the ship or only through roll up both are options joe i'll be perfectly honest with you upgrades on board the ship are rare um they just don't back in the day that would be a thing if we did this live broadcast what year is it uh 15 20 years ago um we'd all be on dial-up modems and we'd be like wow that pixelated brad pitt guy really no anyway um you'd be able to 15 20 years ago i would say you could either talk to the peer coordinator that was a person at the terminal or tech with guest services because back then there was a lot more availability uh, fast forward today even with covid there's not a ton of options for you to do that you certainly could ask there's no harm in asking but in truth it is very much not the norm so um there is one more way you can upgrade your room besides rail up or through the ship and that is you call your wonderful mei travel agent and you say hey rich O, um you know that star cruiser thing looks super expensive i'm gonna use that money instead i want to upgrade my room and you might find a much better price with that so there you go are you going to cruise anytime on europe on royal caribbean going next year in man alert uh, i am not actually uh we don't we we had a european cruise booked for last year that got canceled obviously and i do not have any plans for next year to go to europe i don't think i will be going but Weirder things have happened, I suppose. We're actually going to Alaska next year, decab. So I think that's like our big fly across the country kind of a uh, plan. But no, I don't have any plans currently. But and by the way, if you're going on uh, on Allure, by the way, you're not going to Allure. I don't know if anyone told you, but you've probably been changed to Wonder of the Seas. What well, Allure was supposed to uh, be sailing in Europe next year, but Wonder took over for that. So surprise, you're probably on Wonder of the Seas, which is actually an upgrade for you. Favorite free a uh, favorite food to eat on the cruise? Ooh, boy, I mean that's a loaded question, man. That's like you know, what's your favorite food in New York City? Uh, well, it's pizza, but um, <laughs> but you know, there's a lot of choices there. You know what? My still my my all time favorite, and I'm gonna go with it, is the Indian food on Royal Caribbean. The Indian curries are amazing. They're complimentary. They're available in the main dining room and the wind jammer, and they are really really good. And I get them always once a cruise. So uh, we'll be live again next Monday right here on YouTube. Until then, have a great week, everybody. Stay safe out there. Do something fun. That's important as well. And we'll talk again very soon right here on YouTube. Bye, everybody.